Ladies and gentlemen, please join in welcoming our host for this evening, the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Ronald L. Green, accompanied by his wife, Andrea. This evening, just prior to pass in review, we will proudly conduct a special relief and appointment ceremony for the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Please join in welcoming our guest of honor for this evening, the incoming and 19th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Troy E. Black, accompanied by his wife, Stacy. And now, please join in welcoming the presiding official for our relief and appointment ceremony this evening, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David H. Berger, accompanied by his wife, Donna. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the oldest post of the Corps, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., celebrating over 60 years of performing evening parades here in our nation's capital. The ceremony you are about to witness was first conducted at the barracks on July 5, 1957. While the parade is standard for Marine units throughout the world, some elements have been modified to showcase the unique abilities of our marching and musical units. The massed formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant forms the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like the parade you will see this evening. Tonight, we celebrate the pride, professionalism, and esprit de corps that are hallmarks of this barracks and the Marines who have distinguished these hallowed grounds for over two centuries. They represent all Marines around the globe who embody our Corps' values of honor, courage, and commitment. This evening, we take special, special pride, pride in featuring staff, staff non-commissioned non officers and non-commissioned officers of the oldest post who will perform all senior marching positions during our ceremony.
we begin our ceremony with a performance by the president's own United States Marine Band. The band traces its roots back to July 11, 1798, when an act of Congress authorized the Marine Corps to employ a drum major, a fife major, and 32 fifers and drummers. Today, the Marine Band has over 150 members who proudly carry out its mission of providing music for the President of the United States and the Commandant of the Marine Corps. The most famous director of the Marine Band was legendary band leader and the March King, John Philip Sousa, who led the band from 1880 to 1892. Of all his marches, one so embodied our American spirit that in 1987, an act of Congress proclaimed it the National March of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrating over 221 years of serving as the guardian of American musical tradition, the Marine Band will now perform Sousa's most famous march, the Stars and Stripes Forever.
Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. was established on March 31, 1801. This site was chosen for the new Marine garrison by President Thomas Jefferson as he rode on horseback through the new capital city along with our second commandant, Lieutenant Colonel William Ward Burroughs. It is the oldest active post of the United States Marine Corps. Just beyond the north end of the parade deck stands the historic home of the commandants. It has been the residence of every Marine commandant since its completion in 1806. The present occupants are the 38th Commandant and his lady, General and Mrs. David H. Berger. During our nation's bicentennial in 1976, the barracks and the Commandant's house together were designated a National Historic Landmark. The flag flying over the barracks this evening is a replica of the national ensign displaying 15 stars and 15 stripes that would have flown here in 1801.
Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen we, are we are proud to introduce, to introduce the official mascot of the Ring Barracks, Washington, D.C., Private First Class Chesty the 15th. A pedigree English, English Bulldog, PFC Chesty the 15th, enlisted in the Marine Corps on 19 March 2018 and completed recruit training on 5 July 2018. The first barracks mascot was named in honor of the most decorated Marine in history, Lieutenant General Louis B. Chesty Puller, a name that has been inherited by every mascot of the oldest post.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the colors. The Marine Corps color guard for you is unique. Flanked by two Marine riflemen, our national flag is carried by the color sergeant of the Marine Corps, while the non-commissioned officer to his left carries the official battle color of the Marine Corps. The 54 streamers and silver bands displayed with the battle color commemorate the military campaigns in which Marines have participated. They span the entire history of our nation, from the Revolutionary War to the combat operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. Decorated with palms, oak leaf clusters, and stars, they represent more than 400 awards and campaigns of the United States Marines. It is the privilege of Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., to be entrusted with the custody of this battle color. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen please, please be seated. seated.
The Marines in the spotlight represent over seven decades of marching and rifle drill precision, a legacy of honor, commitment, and discipline that began during the sunset parades of 1948. The M1 rifles they carry with fixed bayonets are standard for all our marching platoons and weigh in excess of 10 and one half pounds. The platoon executes its drill sequence without verbal cadence or commands. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Barracks Washington DC proudly presents the United States Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon.
United States Marine drum head people from Copas this evening with the march composed by John Philip Sousa, inspired by his love of baseball, the national game. This evening, they do it below with the medley of songs from the San Francisco based multi platinum selling rock band Journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. is proud to present the Commandant Zoo, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
And, and now, now, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen please, please stand by, by as we proudly conduct a special relief and appointment ceremony for the Sergeant, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. We are privileged to have as the presiding official for our ceremony this evening, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David H. Berger. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors. Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the NCO sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. As the senior enlisted leader of Marines and advisor to the Commandant, the Sergeant Major is the keeper of traditions for the Corps. Tonight's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one sergeant major to another. Attention to orders. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Ronald L. Green, United States Marine Corps. Subject, relief of duties. Effective 26 July 2019, you will stand detached from your present station and duties as the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. On 1 January 2020, you will transfer to the Marine Corps Retired List. At 2359 on 31 December 2019, you will be released from active duty. As of 31 December 2019, you will complete 36 years, 6 months, and 25 days cumulative service, of which 36 years, 1 month, and 3 days is active service. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Troy E. Black, United States Marine Corps. Subject, Appointment of Duties. Effective 26 July 2019, you will stand detached from your present station and duties. You will proceed and report to Headquarters Marine Corps, the Pentagon, for duty as the 19th Sergeant Major of the United States Marine Corps. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this evening, a private retirement ceremony was conducted in the home of the Commandants for Sergeant Major Green, during which he was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal and received several laudatory letters from such distinguished persons as the President of the United States, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, and several others. Please join us in congratulating our 18th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps on his most distinguished career. Joining our new Sergeant, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps in the reviewing area are the following former Sergeants Major of the Marine Corps. The 18th Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Ronald L. Green. The 17th Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Michael P. Barrett. The 16th Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Carlton W. Kent. The 15th Sergeant Major and former U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable John L. Estrada. The 14th Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Alfred L. McMichael. The 13th Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Louis G. Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. As we prepare for pass in review, please direct your attention to the two marching companies assembled before you. These companies are comprised of infantry Marines who were hand selected to serve at Marine Barracks Washington. In addition to parade support, these companies conduct joint service honors ceremonies at the Pentagon, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and the White House. These Marines also have the solemn duty and distinct honor of performing dignified transfer ceremonies for fellow Marines who have made the ultimate sacrifice while serving our country, as well as laying our Marines and their families to rest in Arlington National Cemetery. When not performing ceremonial functions, the Marines of Companies A and B hone their infantry skills in preparation for future service in combat units of the Marine Corps' operating forces.